A car crash involving several vehicles is causing a major traffic backup. This is near the Hart Brand Bridge as tens of thousands of fans make their way downtown for tonight's Gator Bowl. So we want to show you the traffic backup in the area from our traffic computer. You see all the red right there. And that is where Nick Pro is live on the scene right now. We're talking going to the game. Is that correct, Nick? Well, Jeannie, that is correct. That is traffic going to TIAA. Now, we can tell you in the last several minutes, we have seen, obviously, a lot of Tennessee fans and Indiana fans decals on their cars. But I want to start off the good news right now. No serious injuries. was told by Jacksonville Sheriff's Office that rescue did show up here, but no one was needed to be treated here. You can see off in the distance one of the cars involved. This is a five-car crash. One of those cars, as you can see, unloading some of the items from inside one of the cars here that's got their hazard lights on off in the distance and can tell you this is actually moving pretty well considering the standstill this has been in the last 15 minutes or so. Talking to JSO, they tell me that it looks like this could clean up here relatively shortly, but I'm going to swing around here to show you the traffic coming here sitting obviously at a standstill right now. And again, it's been this way the last 15 minutes or so since we've been here. And again, the good news, nobody injured. Despite all this backup, we're not talking about a fatality, which of course is good news and no serious injuries. Again, along Atlantic Boulevard here heading to TIAA. Again, that game, 7 o'clock. Indiana, Tennessee fans here honking their horns as some of them are sitting here again in this backup. But good news to see. Some of the cars here on the wreckers, some have already been taken away. So again, right now, it looks like this is going to open up here. I, I would say probably here shortly within the next half hour or so. Again, game time, 7 o'clock. But no major injuries out here following this crash. This is one of those we could say again. It looks a lot worse than it is, thankfully. So keep it right here for the very latest. We'll continue to bring the latest as it becomes available. Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.